Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I'm going to make a video to kind of help you guys out. We're going to talk about how to convince your wife or girlfriend to let you get that next gun. Now, single guys, you're going to want to pay attention here too, and that's because unless you plan on marrying your PlayStation controller, there's a good chance you have a girlfriend or a wife in your future. Now, we're going to go ahead and start off with the most passive ways to convince your significant other to let you get that next purchase, and then we'll move on to some ways that might be considered a little bit extreme to some people. Now, the first one is one that I've used, and I've used it successfully. Again, these are the most passive ways. The first thing is to offer a trade. This is very simple because girls like things just as much as guys like things. We like our guns, they like their purses, they like their shoes, some of them even like their guns, in which case you're lucky and you can go ahead and stop this video right there. But uh, otherwise, offer a trade. They like to get their nails done, they like to get their hair done, they like to get their purses, their shoes, and whatever else that she might be into. Let her know that, look, I really wanna get this gun. And if you let me get this gun, you can go ahead and get that brand new purse that you've been wanting. So we get a trade, she wants it just as bad as what you want, and there's a pretty good chance of success if you go that route. A trade is always a good way to get you into that next purchase. Now, if for some strange reason she's not into any of that stuff, there's still another method that might be successful for you. Now, men have been trying to perfect this one for centuries. We get it wrong most of the time, but there's still at least a chance that you might be the one that gets it right and this could work out for you. So it's worth giving a shot. And that's to butter her up. And I mean butter her up good. Come home with flowers, tell her she's beautiful, tell her that her hair looks nice, do things around the house that maybe you didn't do in the past, like vacuum, do the dishes, make dinner, take her out to dinner. You know, all the things that would at least, at minimum, soften the blow. Now, the next thing you could try, and this is definitely something that's worked for me, uh, honey, if you're watching this video, please stop now, but try making it sound urgent, but not just urgent because you really want it bad and you want to go get it and it has to be today. It has to be urgent for a reason. For instance, try and sound fiscally responsible. I have to get it now because it's on sale. The sale's gonna be over soon. This is something that I was gonna get in the future anyway, and if I wait, then I'm gonna be essentially spending more money than I would if I was to pick it up today. If I go today, it's gonna save us hundreds of dollars, and so it just makes sense to get it now before it's off sale, and then again, I gotta spend more money. Or if you're in California, you could say, look, that handgun, I really like it. There's a chance it could fall off the roster next year and I might never be able to get it. So it's really important. Or in the case of your long guns, just let her know. Laws are changing every single day. You can see what these politicians are doing. Try watching the news for a little bit the day before you decide to bring this up and uh, see all the stuff that's going on in terms of gun control and say, I gotta get this now because it's kind of like a panic buy thing. If I don't get it now and it becomes illegal, uh, then I won't be grandfathered in and I'm gonna be the only guy on my block to not have this. So I have to get it now before they're banned. Try doing something like that. Even though it's a little bit shady, it works. Now, the next one might be a little bit more extreme, and it might take a little bit of time and effort on your end. You might have to do some work for this one, but I'm telling you, it works, and it's a long-term investment. It'll work for you now, and it will also work for you in the future. You'll be able to get what you want and then get the latest and greatest things as they come out down the road, and that's to start a YouTube channel. But you can't just start a YouTube channel and say, look, I'm posting videos. You gotta let her know that there's a potential to make a little bit of income off of YouTube, so not only are you getting the latest and greatest things, but you're also bringing home a little bit of extra cash on the side to do stuff that you guys might want to in the future. The great thing with that argument is you can say, I need it for work. This gun, it doesn't really seem all that great or it's not as nice as maybe something that I actually want, but you know, it's the latest and greatest thing and that's what people want to see. So, you know, I got to get it for work. Now, if you've exhausted all those options and none of them have worked for you, there's still one more way. Now, you might want to evaluate this one first. Take a quick look at your relationship, see how solid it is, because there's a chance she could leave you for being a no good shady liar. Now, this next one is to simply go around her. Don't even ask her at all. Use your secret credit card, use your secret account, sell something for cash and take that cash and go get it. Leave it in the truck and when she goes to sleep, Take it right upstairs and put it in the safe. Now you wanna make sure that if it comes and goes, it's, you know, secret, it's quiet. You don't make any fuss about it. Try not to smile too much. Definitely don't sleep with it under your pillow. You know, don't get overexcited that you had the best day of your life. You wanna keep it on the low. Don't let her know anything about it and just simply get what you want. 
Now, all joking aside, let's get serious here. This is actually a problem that affects a lot of guys. And it's not the guy that takes one, puts it in the closet in a safe somewhere, and doesn't see it again for a year. This is the guy who has become a hobbyist. He, he loves the hobby. He, he loves collecting. He loves modifying. Uh, just really gotten into everything. He can appreciate the subtle nuances of each new model that might come out every year or every other year. And he's going to want the next latest, greatest thing, just like she might want the next latest, greatest cell phone. For instance, she might spend $1,200 a year every time a new iPhone comes out. Now, the differences between the iPhone are very subtle. Maybe you have an extra camera or an extra megapixel or a half an inch wider screen or something like that. But really, there's not that much difference between last year's model iPhone and the next year's model iPhone. Just like there's probably not that much difference between last year's model that you want and the new model that you want. But being somebody who's really into the hobby, you can appreciate those changes. And again, you want the latest and greatest thing. The best way to go about this, if you're somebody who's kind of in that bad spot, is to try and get her on board with your hobby. Enjoy the hobby together. Let her know that it doesn't just have to be this, you know, one scary thing. That there's stuff out there for women. Show her the different customizations that she can make. If she doesn't like, um, you know, something that you're showing her, show her that you might have a purple trigger or that might have a chameleon barrel or that you can get a Tiffany blue holster. You know, show her that there's other women that are involved too take her with you to the range take her out with you shooting go to dinner first and then say I want to take you out I want to do this and I want to do that and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do one of my things will you come with me and if she has fun and you make it enjoyable don't you know put something stupid in her hands that's gonna scare her away from it but put something in there in her hands that she can handle then there's a chance that she might come over to your side and if maybe you get her something as a gift and then you maybe get her a modification or two that makes it a little bit more feminine there there's a chance that she might get on board with the hobby and she might start looking things up as well I mean that's kind of how I got lucky with my wife my wife she you know likes her teal she likes her leopard print holsters you know she she likes her different wood grips and you know things that you can get in these little micro nines and micro guns and 45 she she loves all of that stuff because while I customize things to my taste she has realized that she can customize things to her taste and so the best thing that you could possibly do if you're stuck in that situation is just get her on board with your hobby if she's on board with your hobby it's gonna be her hobby too and she's gonna understand when you say you want the next less next best greatest thing so anyway guys I hope that helped you out you know you kinda have a basic understanding of different methods that you could try. Hopefully you got a laugh out of it too. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.